We are Onyx Imaging. We are the highest rated and most reviewed printer service center in Oklahoma. Hi, my name is John with Onyx Imaging. Today we're going to take a look at this Okidata ES7412 printer. And we're going to show you how to manually set an IP address. So if wherever you're hooking up this printer you have to manually set an IP address, we're going to show you how to get that done. It's a pretty simple process. First thing you want to do is obviously make sure you know which IP address you need to put into the, the printer for it to work correctly. Once you have that information, what we're going to do is make sure the printer is turned on. And we're going to go ahead and go to using the little control panel here. We're going to use the up arrow to enter our menu. And then we're going to use the down arrow to scroll down until we select admin setup. Go ahead and hit the enter button. And now we're going to have to put in a password. And the, the default password for the admin setup is going to be six nines. So it's nine 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 nine. So in order to select that, they're going to push the down arrow once. You'll see it brings up the number 9, hit enter, and we're going to do that six times. And once you have it in six times, go ahead and hit enter one more time, and you'll see that takes you to your the admin setup menu. So now use again using arrow keys and the other buttons in the control panel here, we're going to go ahead and click enter and select network setup. And then you're going to use the down arrow, go down until you find IP address set. Select that and hit enter. And we're going to use, it's going to usually be defaulted to auto. We're going to hit the down arrow and select manual. Hit enter again. And once you have the little, there's going to be a little asterisk showing you which one is selected. So now that manual is selected, we're going to hit the back button. Use the down arrow one more time and then you'll see an option that says IPv4 address. Make sure that's selected and hit enter. And now you'll find where you can actually change your IP address. So it'll show you the current IP address that's set for your printer. And you're just going to use the arrow keys to manually change all these numbers to match the IP address you need this printer to be. And then once you're done, you're going to hit enter. And for each little box there. And then hit back to exit the menu. And then once you have everything set, what you're going to want to do is turn the printer off. And then give the printer a second. You're going to want to restart the printer. And then once the printer is restarted, that manual IP address should be set and installed in the printer and should be good to go. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to Onyx. We'd love to help answer those for you. Also, if there's any way we can help supply with any of your printer or office supply needs, please feel free to reach out to Onyx. We'd love to help supply this for you as well. We hope you have a great day and you're back up and printing. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in how you can receive free labor on all of your service calls, as well as how to qualify for free printer upgrades, contact us today. We are here for all of your printer and office supply needs.